Out of your bed, out of your, out of your shampoo, out of your, out of your rivers of living water, out of your, out of your oh yeah, living water. Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women. We are delighted that you've joined us again for a journey through the Word of God. I'm excited tonight to tell you that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I'm excited to tell you that God keeps His Word to a thousand generations, and whatever God has spoken concerning you, it has already been spoken and done in the kingdom realm and manifestation is taking place and you will experience the power of God. Our co-host, Apostle J. Edward Fisher, Pastor Saint Center, Coppers Cove and Colleen. Yeah, and you know, I'm here to tell you that God has placed his word above his name. And so if the word of God is important to God, it's got to be important to us. Amen. You know, faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and it comes by hearing the word of God. If you're struggling with fears and phobias, if you're struggling with doubt, it could be that you have not heard enough of the word of God right. to establish your faith. The Bible tells us in the Hebrew writing, he that cometh to God must first believe that God is and that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So all the promises of God that has been spoken over your life requires faith. Apostle, faith is important. That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. And faith is our victory that overcometh the world. I tell you, somebody said, you don't have any problem. All you just need is faith in God. And so if we will use the faith that God gives us through his word, we can overcome anything, Bishop. Amen. The Bible says all things are possible mm -hmm. to him that believes. All right. You have to get somewhere where the Word of God is being preached. Mm -hmm. You have to get somewhere, glory to God, where that Word, amen, empowers you and causes you to believe in the supernatural ability and the power of God. The record says, Apostle, how can a young man cleanse his ways except he heed to the Word of God? That's right. And David said in that same area, he said, that Word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So I tell you, if you're not a student of the word, I don't know how you're making it in this world. Absolutely, glory to God. I'll tell you one more time, Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live mm -hmm. by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them the men of integrity is on the air, and there is a word concerning you and your family. The scripture text tonight is found in John 21 and 22. And here's what the record says. Jesus says unto them, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow me. The text exposes Peter getting rebuked by Jesus. Jesus says in so many words, if I have him to wait until I come, what is it to you? You just follow me. Peter was inquiring about some stuff that wasn't even his business, Apostle. That's right. But Jesus says to him, you need not be concerned about that. What you need to do is focus on following me because the promise is revealed to those that follow me up close and personal. Yeah, and you know, um, we're concerned about what other folks are doing, but no, we have to be concerned about what he called us to do. Uh, he's telling Peter, he said, it doesn't make any difference what John or what other apostles or what other disciples do. He said, you just need to follow me and do what you're supposed to do. Absolutely. My question to you tonight is who are you following? Mm -hmm. I want to suggest to you tonight, glory to God, that no person can have fulfillment without promise. You must 
acquire the promises that God has spoken unto you. But you cannot get the promise unless you are led into promise. Mm. From the Old Testament, physical, spiritual fellowship is required to experience the promise. The land which God spoke of to Israel was a land flowing with milk and honey. Their leader, their prophet was called Moses. Moses led the Jews out of slavery into Egypt and led them to the holy land that God has promised them. Before God walks you to promise, he walks you through process. Mm -hmm. The biblical record states in Exodus 3 and 8, I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land to a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Prezizites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. That's the promise that God was giving Israel. But they could not find their way on their own. Mm -hmm. God sent Moses to lead them into promise. Yeah, well, you know what? Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the path of the Lord are truth and mercy. And sometimes we complain about the path that God leads us, but he knows how to lead us. And he knows what's best for us. And um, we need not complain, uh, but we need to understand that God is perfect. His way is perfect. And he knows the beginning from the end. So instead of murmuring and complaining, we just need to follow him. And we will follow him. We will see the blessings and we will see the things that God uh, has for us. Um, people have a problem sometimes with following God's way. Maybe God's way might be too slow for them. And, mm -hmm. But I tell you one thing, God's way is sure. You're so absolutely right. <laughs> you know, I believe that we must come to terms with the promise of God. Mm -hmm. When you come into terms with the promise of God, then you put faith in that promise. You put faith in what God has said. Mm -hmm. And then we yield ourselves over to God that he would lead us through the process of acquiring the promise that he has spoken over our lives. Mm -hmm. In Deuteronomy 5 and 33, you must walk in all the ways that the Lord your God has commanded you. Notice the word all so that you may live and prosper and prolong your life in the land that you will possess. The record then says, I will show you the path of life, meaning I will show you how to walk in healing, freedom, prosperity. Mm -hmm. But without God, you can never find the prosperities of life. That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, um, we don't understand sometimes what it takes uh, for God to prosper us. Um, but you're right. You talk about the principles. If we can understand the principles, we can understand, watch this here, what God is really, is really doing. You know, the children of Israel, uh, the way he delivered them from Egypt, watch this here, uh, the way he delivered them, he really delivered them into prosperity. Yes, sir. But the steps to it was, you understand what I'm saying, is what the people must understand when they walked out of Egypt, praise the name of the Lord, they walked out of Egypt really rich. That's right. That's right. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. And watch this here, the Bible also said there was not a feeble one among them. So they not only walked in prosperity, but they walked out in health too. Absolutely. God gives you the complete package. It's a part of the promise. Come it's a now. part of the covenant. Mm -hmm. But do you have enough faith developed in God to be able to embrace the promise, to be able to follow the leadership? Let's talk about this promise just a little bit more here. The proverbial writer writes in Proverbs 10 and 22, mm -hmm. the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich. Come on now. And added no sorrow with it. Come on now. The New Testament leader is the Holy Ghost, John 16 and 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak from himself, but whosoever he shall hear, that he shall speak, and he will show you things which is to come. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, watch what the Apostle Paul talks about now. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. 
for all the promises of God in him a yes and in him amen to the glory of God. In 2 Chronicles, I mean 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that ye have an all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work. Finally, 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Apostle, these are the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Can we embrace God's promise, God's ability to be able to bring to pass the things that he has decreed and declared over every believer that believes him by faith. Mm -hmm. Well, we, you know, we're going to have to do it. He said, I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. That, that, that's it. Praise the name of the Lord. We've got to get in there and find out what the promises are. Uh, they're already given. You know what I'm saying? God doesn't have to do anything. He's wrought a great salvation. Bishop, why should say it's not what God has to do for us, it's what he's already done for yes, us. Sir. But we've got to get in that book and find it. He, we got to do like jo or he told Joshua, he said, this book of the law yes. shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shall make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So it's really on us. You know, you said a mouthful right there because really, that is really where the rubber meets the road. Mm -hmm. God has already done his part. Mm -hmm. And God never has to redo what he's already done. <laughs> I like that. What we have to do is embrace what he has spoken concerning mm -hmm. us. That's right. And we begin to walk it out. I had a young man in my office boohooing, and crying, broken, in despair, just had a lot going on. But I had to say, hey, hold your head up and look at me. Because nothing is going to change in your life based on you crying. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to change in your life based on all of the things you're sharing. There's only one thing that's going to change your life, and that's when you start obeying the Word of God. That's right. When you give your life over to truth, when you yield to the commandments of God, that's when your life will begin to change. Mm -hmm. And so many people are looking for the world to change, yeah. but the world is not going to change. That's right. The world is going to get worse and worse. And worse, because that's what the record says. <laughs> yeah. But God does what? He changes us. He gives us strength and power and ability to deal with the circumstances and the situation that surrounds us. First Chronicles 29 and 12, make a record of this. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, mm -hmm. and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. God's plan is to bless you. Mm -hmm. His plan is to make you prosperous, but your plan has to be to be born again and spiritually follow the kingdom of God. Yeah, well, and your plan really has to be his plan. You know, the Bible says, hold to your confession of faith. You've got to say what God has said about your situation, not so much what it looks like, is what God says about it. We have to, we have to agree with God. That's, that's the thing about yes, it. Yes. And a lot of times we're not agreeing with God. Uh, we're agreeing with uh, what it looks like, but what it looks like is not necessarily what it is. What it is is what God says it is. And if we will hold to our confession of faith, the Bible says he is faithful. That promise, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Watch this here, what you say. Yes. And if you're going to live life, watch this here, you're going to have to say what God says because God is all about life. But now, if you uh, want debt or destruction, you keep saying what you think it is, and you're going to have it in your life. But if you want life, the Bible says man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. Yes. Well, God has, you don't have to invent anything, Bishop. We got a whole Bible full of what God says, yes, and what God says, he watches over to perform it if he can get people to go with it. 
You know, you said a mouthful. <laughs> I remember preaching a message that says, what you say in a crisis makes a difference. Mm -hmm. You had two men on the cross. One says, if you be the uh -huh. son of God, save us. Mm -hmm. The other says, remember me mm -hmm. when you go into your, 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 your kingdom. The first thing I need you to wrap your mind around tonight is the fact that you must humble yourself in order to follow. Come on now. Jeremiah 42 and 6. This is a very important scripture. I really want you to write this one down. Whether it be pleasant or unpleasant, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we are sending you so that it may go well with you. For we will obey the voice of the Lord our God. Pleasant or unpleasant, you have to obey. Mm -hmm. You have to follow God's regiment. No if and buts about it. Now, the proverbial writer writes in 14 and 12, there is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Mankind does not want to go through what appears to be hard, or whether it appears to be rough, or, or it's not appealing or pleasing to his flesh. Mm -hmm. But again, Jeremiah 42 and 6 says, whether it be pleasant or unpleasant, we have to obey God. Now watch this, my beloved. In Matthew 7 and 14, straight is the gate, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, mm -hmm. and few are they that find it. Mm -hmm. So the only way you're going to find the promise, the prosperity, the, the peace, the power of God, is you have to first learn to follow God. Mm -hmm. Here is the path of God, and you can jump in, Apostle, Psalms 23 and 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. So when I'm following God, yes, there's going to be some turbulence. Yes, there's going to be some hills and valleys, but he will always make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters, mm -hmm. meaning meet my need and give me peace. Yeah, well, you know, he's the shepherd and the shepherd knows why, and he's the great shepherd of the sheep. And the shepherd knows which way to go. He knows uh, how to lead the sheep. Praise the name of the Lord. He knows all of the ins and outs about the sheep. He also knows the terrain yes. that uh, uh, he's leading us into. And, 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 and in that same Psalm, Psalm 23, it, say, it says, um, you know, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Now that's all we really need yeah. to have is the shepherd with us. We can hear the wolf crying out yonder and hollering and everything like that. Well, that's great. He's out there, we hear him. But watch this here, I don't need to concentrate on what I hear. I need to concentrate on him being with me. Yeah. And so while the wolf is Oh, hollering out there, I'm just going to look and see if the shepherd is still standing there. And if he's still standing there, his rod and his staff will comfort me. And, and uh, so I don't worry about uh, the, the things that are trying to pull at me is the one that's with me. Absolutely. You have to follow. Now watch this. In order to follow God, mm -hmm. that is a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. One must be born again, on, mind man. renewed, heart cultivated, and really sensitive to the word and the spirit of God. Now watch this, to follow God, you must follow leadership. Mm -hmm. This is where people get off the wagon because people believe that there is this thing with just them and God. But that's never been in the history of God. Since Adam and Eve fell, God has always had human leadership to lead his people into spiritual things. Hebrews 13 and 17, mm. obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, but they watch for your soul as they that must give an account that they may do it with joy and not grief, mm -hmm. for this is unprofitable for you. This is a command that comes from God. Obey them that have rule over you. Mm -hmm. Listen, Jeremiah 23 and 4, I will give you shepherds that shall feed the flock of God. God is putting somebody in charge. Glory to God. So in every aspect of leadership, there is God, there is God's leader, and then there are the followers. Mm -hmm. Let's look real quickly at Psalms 32 and 8. Not only must you follow the leadership, 
to follow God, you have to follow the teaching. Okay? Look what he says. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. This is very serious, my beloved, because we are trying to find things, amen, without following the proper protocol. Mm -hmm. The protocol is to be born again so that you can be spiritually sensitive to the things of God. It is to have earthly leadership to be able to teach you the word of God, and then you have to follow the word of God. One more thing, let me throw in here and possibly jump in, okay? Then you must learn how to fight. You cannot follow if you don't fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, First Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and as, uh, as professed, a good profession before many witnesses. What are we fighting? We're fighting everything that comes against our mind that causes us to believe anything other than the promise of God. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I want to just say something about that leadership. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and 11, he said, and he gave. Yes. Now watch this here. The church is not man's idea. It's God's idea. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> and he sir. says, and he gave some apostles, some uh, prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. What for? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying yes, of the body of Christ, until we all come into the unity. Well, we haven't come. That's right. And so we have leaders. Absolutely. And we must, watch this here, adhere to the leaders and embrace the leaders and submit ourselves to the leadership because uh, in this world, you're right, people need leadership. Praise the name of the Lord. And God has provided leadership for his people and, and uh, nobody is an island of their own self, Bishop. Yes. And some people are saying, well, I don't need the church. Oh yeah, you need the church. You need the church. Praise right. the, watch this here. You need the church. The, the, the psalmist said, my feet almost slipped until I came to church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you know, you made a very valid point there because you do need the church. You, you need civil government. Mm -hmm. okay? you, 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 you need, uh, if we didn't have civil government, this place would be in an uproar. That's right. Okay. So you need leadership in every aspect. You need leadership in sports. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you need leadership for everything. Why wouldn't you need leadership for the spiritual man? Mm -hmm. You are spiritual. Glory to God. You have a soul and you need leadership to be able to guide you in the soulish part of man. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jude says you should earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. You have to be taught what that faith is. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be taught how to keep that faith because the enemy is coming with every deceiving spirit that he possibly can. You know, if we don't know, we will be deceived and bamboozled. Mm -hmm. You need to go and stop and look at this Beyonce worldwide concert. You need to go and psych, look at the things that is being used, the false gods, okay? The, the, the elements that are set up, the chatting that's going on, mm. the words that are being sung to release this demonic force and power into the hearts and minds of our people. We are being led astray by music, by, by song, we're being led. But if there's not someone decreeing and declaring the word of God that makes you stop and take a look at what is really being done and said, look at the costumes, look at the props, listen to the words. They're all giving praise and glory to the demonic false gods. Somebody got to lead us back to Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, uh, uh, our preachers, we've got to preach this thing. The Bible says be in season and out of season. Uh, why, we got to cover every area of existence. No such thing as there's a separation of church and, and, and politics, church, and this and church. No, watch this here. What you believe and what we preach covers all of the existence of our lives. And we've got, to, we've got to share to the people, especially leaders, watch this here, what does said the Lord about everything. 
You're so absolutely right. We have to understand that we do not live by bread alone. Come on now. But we live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Every precept that comes from the mouth of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not fail. So to follow God, you have to follow leadership. To follow leadership, mm -hmm. you have to follow the instructions that comes from the word of God. Men ought to always pray and not faint. If you pray, you will know what God is saying because God will not allow you to be deceived if you are a real student of the word and a person that really prays. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4 and 19. But my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory mm -hmm. by Christ Jesus. Listen, that's more than financial. Mm -hmm. okay? That's more than just good health. God supplies you with wisdom and knowledge and understanding, glory to God, amen, so that you will be able to hear the voice of the Father, see the moving of the Spirit, so that you will not be deceived in this last and evil day, mm -hmm. except you follow me. He says, you could be concerned about what they're doing over there, but except you follow me, you will never get to the promise of God. That's right. And remember, he said, without me, you can do Nothing. Nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. People are trying. Praise the name of the Lord. But watch this here. But he says, no man cometh to the Father but by me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you're not going to get around Jesus. You're not going to get uh, past Jesus. God has made Jesus, watch this here, the way. And that's what you're going to have to answer to. Watch it. People are not going to uh, 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 be lost because of the committing adultery and everything like that, and yet you're not supposed to do it. But they're really going to be lost because they don't believe in Jesus. You're right. They're deceived. They're deceived by spirits of darkness. The Bible tells us that men shall heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils to such turn away. What do you see in preached across a lot of platforms. What you're seeing, amen, released in our world is just a lot of chaos and confusion. But why don't you go back to the Word of God? Why don't you measure your life against the Word of God? Mm -hmm. Why don't you, amen, look at this thing real closely and come to the conclusion, accept a man, yield to the Word of God, he will never, ever be able to find the promises and the prosperity of God. This is why Satan, amen, is trying to make us doubt God, because we have to go back to following God through the power of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. following the leader through obedience to the scripture. We are the men of integrity, and we're praying for your miracle. Mm -hmm. Out of your bed, out of your, 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 out